Hey, 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 everybody. Callisto here, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since our last episode, and we're gonna try and ease our way back into recording with some uh, modded Minecraft. So I've uh, prepped up a world for us. Uh, basically, creating a world, deleting it, creating a world, deleting it, and so on. So this is, as you may already know, Project Ozone Light, made famous by the Hermit Sky series with several of the Hermits, and uh, we're gonna play the game. Uh, I played it uh, before, it must be my most, uh, I don't know, best liked mod pack, I think, like ever. So it's a skyblock world, so we start out here in the void. And what has been like my kind of starting goals before starting to actually play is if I press T, you will see that we are in a plains biome. That's no big deal, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier for us a little bit down the way. So, uh, to play the pack, we have a quest book, a lot of quests. Welcome to Light is the first one. This is basically where we're gonna start out through a lot of the early quests like this, random act of kindness. It's like a, you know, starting items. Check this one, detect, go back, claim. So we're gonna, we're gonna select, we're gonna get a diamond, a torch and a sapling and we can select our first loot chest. Now I usually I just do the middle one, but we're gonna try and break it up. So for now we're gonna take the bottom one. In our goal of the series is to finish each and every one of the quests. Now this page is gonna be mostly easy. If you played modded, you've been through most of this before. Um, the rest is locked so far, so we're gonna do this we gotta get some early cobblestone and a furnace we gotta grab uh, eight wood and four saplings eight apples we're gonna make some barrels some clay some storage drawers some tinker tools uh, floral fertilizer and a sieve so for starters we're gonna focus on a few of these early missions and we're gonna keep it nice and leisurely and take it easy so yeah, let's get right to it. Random act of kindness. What do we get? 64 nether stars. Well, okay. Except they're fake. Made out of enchanted cardboard. Hope you got a receipt. So that's bad. So let's just chuck them into the void. Uh, our first goal would be to get, of course, wood and early cobblestone. So this is the garden of glass, so we can, if I press shift and right click the ground, we create some cobblestone or pebbles. Boop. And four pebbles makes a cobble. So what I'm basically only gonna do for starters, uh, I'm gonna make a small cut. I'm gonna stand here and uh, shift right click and create a couple of stacks of cobblestone. So that should give us quite a few number of pebbles. So let me just craft it all into cobblestone and we'll move right on. So there we have it. A couple of stacks of cobblestone. And now if only we can make a furnace, we would be good, but we can't. So let's get our sapling. Put that in the middle and let's start twerking our first tree. And oh, we got a big one. Nice. We're not going to be able to catch everything. Maybe. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Our first block we're gonna use to make a crafting bench and I like the crafting stations. So let's just um, pop that one there. We're gonna make uh, some sticks and we're gonna make some crooks. But before we finish our tree here and harvest it, we're gonna do... What are we gonna do? We're gonna do... We're gonna do... Ooh, let's... 
Let's grab one more log. I almost forgot. We're gonna make a few more sticks. We're gonna use our first diamond to make a diamond chisel. But why, you say? I'll tell you why. Because we wanna make some kind of cobblestone that we can, cannot easily break or accidentally mine away. So I like the trodden bricks for that. So let's see here. There should be a water source here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So let's... Uh, Go down one and close that up and let's make a border with cobblestone like so and we wanna harvest in a few more pieces of dirt i'm gonna grab our crafting station also like so and like that and let's do one more and we're gonna just sit back and wait a little bit we want to get grass down here uh, and while we wait for that we can expand this one another round just so we have some space to work with so our goal of this pack as i mentioned is to try and complete all the quests and the reason why this is my favorite pack is because i love this uh, loot chest that we have in this pack so let me let me think let's do let's just do one more we may get rid of the water because getting water in this pack is not difficult and i do like to have keep a just a three by three in the middle with the grass. So we need a few more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, let's just do this. Like so. And that and trodden bricks in boom 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 boom. Like so. So I'm just gonna wait for the grass to spread down here and we can break the these last two cross blocks and there we have it let's pop this one so we're gonna got to get grass all over this i just got rid of the water so now we can pop up here and we can vein mine Ooh, what where did my saplings go did it seriously okay okay Okay, where's my other quick? We, we need one more sapling or it's game over. Ooh, one. But seriously, why do they keep falling over the edge? Okay. So basically what the game is telling us is we're gonna need another row of trodden bricks. Where do we have it? That's right there. So let's place that one. Because we cannot keep losing these many saplings. That's not going to be any fun. It's not going to matter much because we got some living root down there. So we could always make a new sapling if need be. But to vein mine the leaves and the wood is going to take its toll on our hunger. Ooh, oh, what's up with my stomach? So yeah, basically want to salvage as much as we can from this tree right here can we collect some of that excellent and let's vein mine the rest excavate and get all the wood and we're gonna get some more saplings falling down so that's that and now that we have our table we can make our furnace and we should have another quest early cobble let's randomly select a chest and let's just pop it right away ghost charm yuck that's not what we wanted but that's what we got so we're gonna have to deal with it so the next thing we're gonna do is let's just put our furnace down Let's take, I don't know, some of these and let's do, can we do eight? 
Let's try and go for eight. Here. Ooh. Never mind. Let's make a double chest while we're at it. And do that. And just store some cobblestone. Store that. Let's just put everything away except this. And we're going to keep two of these. We're going to do like that for 16 sticks for four more crooks. So what I'm going to do for the next couple of minutes is stand here and twerk some trees. Crook it and break it. Can we harvest these things? We can. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to twerk up a whole lot of wood using our saplings and our crooks. And we're going to try and get to eight apples, was it? Okay, that was easy. And 16 wood. Yeah, okay. Done and done. Let's take the top one, claim them. Can I see? Oh, it's a 101. I think that's a high end. Oh, right. Resonant conversion. You can fully upgrade a block to a given tier. This is going to be super helpful later when we get into the thermal or something, something. So, yeah. Um, and let's just jump right into the next order of business because that went fast so we're gonna have to do we're gonna have the basic drawer we can do that real quick and what else do we have little tinkerer that's easy floral and we're gonna need some clay so let's let's see here let's start by making knocking out this and let's take that so that's our drawer let's make some more sticks and let's make some patterns so this is for the tinker construct we're gonna need some more wood we're gonna need a crafting table and we're gonna need another chest, I think. Let's check real quick. What did we get? We got that one. So let's do bottom. And we needed pattern chest and sale part below. Yada yada yada. So patterns with a uh, plank gives us the stencil table. The chest gives us the pattern. A log gives us a part builder and the crafting table gives us the tool station. One, two, three, four. So this is everything you need for tinker tools. So we're gonna kind of get into some early tinker tools in a short while. Let's numb some apples and let's collect, uh, yeah, let's take the center one. A couple of those. So our next step is gonna be the barrels. So one wooden barrel and four clay. So let's see. Wooden barrel is this. So let's make. Let's see. Four, eight, twelve, twenty-four. So let's just do that and move these ones over, up, and we got four barrels. So that's that. For clay, let's pop these first. Compact giant chance cube. Oh, these are dangerous. Flask of fleet. Flea fleet will lead. Let's. Okay, let's keep those in the bottom. I'll do things. So for clay, we're gonna need to get. So we gotta get some water going for clay. A, what's it called? Um, crucible, I think. No. It's oak something. I think we have an oak something of this thing. Let's see if I can't find it. 
is a thing, isn't it? I thought it was. Water. How can I get water? Oh, I can't. This is bad. Okay, so we gotta wait for rain. Oops, my bad, my bad. So, while we wait for the rain, I'm gonna put this one there and I'm gonna put a roof over two of our barrels. So if it rains, we're gonna collect water in these two and uh, we can extract it later when we get into buckets and stuff. So while we wait for the rain, I'm gonna continue to gather wood and we'll be right back. That didn't take too long, it started to rain, so we are getting our water back, which is good. And also we are starting to put some uh, saplings into our barrels. So that's why I covered this up, so it does not fill up with water. And I made a few more uh, chests to keep some of our saplings and our wood into. In, uh, so yeah, this makes dirt. Not gonna have to, we're, gonna, we're gonna need some dirt to uh, get more, um, what some might call it, uh, bull, bull. Uh, oh, the different seeds and whatnot. We can, you know, get some seeds that can grow grass, that can get carrot, potatoes, uh, you know, regular vanilla seeds, so we can make uh, the stuff for chickens. So. Since we got a water, we got our dirt in order, we're gonna take some silkworms and put it onto a tree and it's gonna infest the leaves. Infested leaves, it gives us string. And also we're gonna need a food source of some sort. So we could do apples. What's the... There's a... Uh, is it... Pams? Pams Harvest Craft, I think they have a sort of a uh, cleaver cutting tool thing. Please help me out if you know, if I don't find it. It looks like a big meat axe, I think. This one, cutting board. Iron stick and wood, okay, or copper can be used, okay. So we're not quite there yet. So this seems done. Let's harvest that for some string. And let's just do... Let's see, more sticks. That's not how you do it. So we had a few more here, so let's cut down our tree and let's make a one more. Now this little here flame from Botania makes it so that we basically most of the time get the big trees. Not always, but very often. So I'm gonna infest a few more th uh, trees to get more string and I'm gonna harvest more wood and more saplings and make more dirt and we'll be right back. So I'm looking at our quest line here and uh, the clay is gonna be somewhat pro problematic until we get a bucket. So we're gonna head into the sieve and we're gonna do some sieving. So to do that we're gonna need a hammer, so I'm gonna take some cobblestone and we're gonna make ourselves a hammer. Let's make two and we're gonna grab, let's say, let's start easy. Let's do the sieve first because we can, and because we have some uh, sticks. Let's make two because why not? Let's put these two. Like so, and we're gonna need some string, which should be 18, and zabba -dabba -doop. two string meshes. Nice. Oh, let's, let's not forget to claim it. 
Yeah, we do not get one for flint. Oh, this is a good one. Thought we take this. We were not gonna be able to use these for quite a long time. But we will get to it, I promise. So let's see, we're gonna need to upgrade this to the flint variant, which is 18 flint. And uh, let's just grab a stack because I suck at math. And let's put this back. So this is 54. So if we do like this, let's not fall off our little island either, because that would be bad. Oh, my hearing just went numb. Boom. Ah, uh, one more. Vein mine it. So we get three stacks of gravel and if we do like this, we get our flint. Now before we upgrade our meshes, let's take a quick look at... Uh, that's not what I want, I want this. And let's see... Dirt. And right click to get uses and we're gonna find the sieve. And we have to do that on a string mesh in order to get some of the seeds, which is grass seeds. We're gonna need that. Potato. It's good to get an early potato. We're gonna need some sugar cane. Cactus is nice. And it would be nice to have the different uh, seeds for the wood. So we're gonna upgrade. Oh, I counted for three, didn't I? Let's make one more. Nine. I said nine. And also let's do that to get some more sticks. Let's make one more sieve. Give it a string. Let's just put that there. So that's good. Let's eat some apples. So we're gonna save some dirt in uh, in these to get some of our stuff. And let's let's just do let's say 16. Let's do that by let's do 18. That divides by three, doesn't it? Hopefully we collect. Oh, we're gonna let's uh, do that and that that let's get rid of those we, we want to have space in our inventory to pick things up <laughs> yeah we good we good let's see what we get oh and the last thing like so so since we have we're not granite and diorite we're not gonna want all that we can just punch the ground Carrot, carrot, that stinks. We got a jungle seed, we got normal seeds, we got cactus, pumpkin, and melon, and birch. So we can do birch trees, just plant them and punch them to collect the saplings. So we got that going. Right, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's, let's, oh, we got a jungle, which is just punch it and collect the sapling so yes we have birch we have oak we want to save a few of each type and we got normal seeds and stuff and we're gonna need some food soon so let's cook up some worms to eat and let me store that let me create more dirt uh, save some more dirt and Grind some more trees and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, to speed up the process ever so slightly, we're gonna do some more gravel and we're gonna convert it into flint. It's it's a shapeless crafting, so it doesn't really matter. So let's get some flint. We're gonna get a lot of this eventually. Uh, that's just for funsies. Let's save this one. Let's see what we get. 
nothing. Anyways, we gotta make ourselves some tools. So let's grab some of this. So let's see. We're gonna need. We're gonna want a pickaxe. So shift uh, left click, and it goes automatically into the pattern chest. That's why I put it in this order. So we have the stencil, the chest, part builder, and the tool station. So we're eventually gonna need a shovel. We're gonna want an axe head, uh, a sword blade both of the tool rods, both of the binders, let's just knock these guys out, we're gonna need the wide guard, we're gonna want this one, and that one basically in, is this is the knife blade, we're gonna want that eventually, and we're also gonna want the sharpening kit uh, for starters, so we got all that, so let's pop this in and we're gonna also gonna do a few planks we got some sticks so we're gonna let's see the first thing we're gonna want to make is an axe uh, can we do that just like that so let's make a tool rod and uh, the axe head we're gonna make out of cobblestone and the tool rod uh, we did, we did the tool rod, so we're gonna need a binding pattern. Let's also make that out of stone. And we also, let's just make a couple of these guys. Perfect, we're gonna just leave that there. And on the tool station, we select the X, we put in our parts and boom, we got a stone hatchet. Now this is gonna help us tremendously in chopping down the trees so it goes a bit faster so that's basically all it does let's see if I can grow a tree real quick and let's just drop this let's grab that now I was thinking that the reason I got the flint was because I wanted to make a flint axe but I think we're gonna actually hold off just a little bit and I'll show you why because we have basically free cobblestone with Shift right click in the ground so when I chop down the tree the axe gets broken and I can fix it with one of these so one stone sharpening kit instantly repairs the stone hatchet so that's why we did that we can do a quick uh, we could do a pick, uh, pickaxe with flint but let's just hold off just a little bit let me grind up a whole lot more of the wood and the stuff in let's see if we can't knock out uh, at least a barrel quest before we call it a day so uh, before we can do that we're gonna need some iron and a bucket right so i have uh, moved our sieves over here we have been grinding a lot of wood made a few more drawers for our stuff and i um, have made a lot of uh, dirt so i sifted up a one stack of dirt and we got somewhat the following is we got all the seeds uh, i felt lucky enough to get four dark oak seeds which is enough to grow the three the three Acacia, jungle, and the rest we got uh, potato and carrot seeds, sugarcane, uh, sugarcane, yes, potato, carrot, potato, very good. And we got the melon, pumpkin, and cactus, the most important, grass seeds. We only need one of these, which is good. Uh, the carrot, carrot, uh, we'll get into that eventually, and regular seeds. So this is like our organic chest, if you will. This is basically the same, no more uh, quests done yet. So what we're gonna do now is take uh, this stack of gravel and we're gonna sieve it. And this is gonna give us some of the basic resources, basically most important iron for starters. We're gonna get some aluminum, gold, uh, tin, flint. We're also gonna get uh, coal from this, platinum. Lapis, copper, and a few other things. So I'm gonna uh, sift this and uh, we'll take a look at uh, how to progress with our clay. Okay, let's take a quick look. A new chest, let's drop all our findings. 
and sort it. So we got coal, flint, lapis, aluminum, copper, some gold. Iron is the one we want. Lead, nickel, platinum, silver and tin. So basically all the important starter resources. So we craft that into ore chunks and these we can smelt. So I've been making up some uh, charcoal and we are cooking some silkworms. So this is going to give us one chunk equals one iron. So let's uh, cook up uh, at least uh, three of these so we can make ourselves a bucket. And three. So let's grab that. Let's make a bucket. Uh, a bucket. And did I have a couple extra of these garden bricks? I did. So let's see where and how do we want to do this. Mm. Let's just do like that. And like so. I'm gonna do. Like that, I think we can just mm, add snow bueno, but it's gonna probably break it. We're not gonna vein one these. We're gonna get rid of these two. Yes, it breaks it. So that's not. We should uh, we should make ourselves a pickaxe, but me. Let's just get rid of these two. Like that, and let's put one more right there. Let's drop a torch. Take this water and put it there, this, and we're gonna put that over there. Perfect. Now we're gonna need, what was it we said? We said four clay. So to make clay, we're gonna need four cobblestone. And we're gonna hammer that into gravel. We have the gravel into sand, and the sand should make dust. And we take water and put back into these buckets. We have an infinite water source, and dust into water makes the clay. This is not ideal since I have to go around our chest, but boom, boom, that should do that, and that should basically conclude our episode let's claim the chest and we get cryo stabilized flux dot Ooh, this is good this can transfer an infinite amount of rf we're far away from that but still good let's put that with the rest of the flint and I think we're gonna call that an episode. Now let's take a quick look at the quest books before we call it a night. So the next thing we're gonna look into are the different meshes. The flint is, well, that's easy enough. Uh, let's, if I take that out. We got that one. Let's take the bottom one. So we're going to do the iron next time. Diamond's going to take a while. And so next time we'll do the iron. And we're going to get into a bigger uh, tinkerer. And we're also going to look into the lava generation and the cobblestone generation. But that's all for next time. So let's uh, pop the chest. Oh! Mm. Yes! Mm. I know that this is not a fake one, you see, because I played the pack before. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is gold. This is gold. Same with the photovoltaic cells, or however you pronounce it. This is gold. When we get into the EMI system, which is basically a computerized digital storage of all our items, this is gold. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, uh, like so and like so, we'll suddenly be back in a new episode. Bye bye.